Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Commander. Today I'm going to start off by buying Firing Delay System 3, because apparently I've had this for a while, and I believe it was Nova Topaz that reminded me, so thank you. So I'm going to get that, and we're going to go put it on the ships. And we don't have money for tech, so I guess we're going to hop into a mission, but I will bring you guys back as soon as I have Firing Delay on all of the ships that need it. So, see you guys here in just a second. Okay, and we're back. We got new firing delay system three on all the ships that needed it, and so let's uh, hop right into the mission, or hop into the briefing to see what they want us to do. We are under orders from mission command to destroy the runways of the enemy base. There have been no reports of any major forces in the area. This looks like a real cakewalk, but I have a bad feeling about it. It's like the enemy is asking us to attack there. Captain, this could be an enemy trap. We must prepare carefully and stay alert. Hmm. I want to try to bring the carrier, because I do like the carrier. So, oh yeah, uh, and also we can go ahead and ditch this guy. I think someone said it was Destroyer D that has the anti-sub missiles, but, um, I mean, we have scout planes on here, so we don't, I mean, they're not the best thing ever for dealing with, uh, subs, but at least we have something, so that's good. Okay, we're back. Let's launch the planes. All air units, prepare to attack. This is, uh, I don't even see, like, anything on the uh, radar to attack us. <laughs> I was about to say, is that a P-38? I thought we got rid of all of our P-38s, but I forgot that our new scout planes are... A weird looking. It, well, it looks like a B25 Mitchell, but it's apparently not. I don't know. Cut all well, oh, here we go. Finally, seeing some enemy planes now. Ooh, what is that? I don't even know what that thing is. Dead now. Where are they? Uh, there you go. Come on, interceptors, do your job. These are my scouts, I think, circling me right now. My scouts, that is. Oh boy. Yeah, we're getting some jet fighters now. I missed that one. Where exactly is this runway? Right up there. So I'm going the right direction. There we go, get that guy. Wow, yeah, these jet fighters are gonna be a whole other issue. Oops, missed him. This guy, got him, there we go. Lost any planes? Oh, we lost planes the last time we used the carrier and I forgot to put him back on, that's right. Oof. This is, uh... I probably don't have as many strike aircraft as I normally would in that case. Ah! Nope. Didn't, couldn't quite get there quickly enough. Come on, let me... Yep, there we go. I'm gonna start hitting this airfield. Full speed ahead. One more, and got it. Alright, well... We got the uh, got the runway. Uh, Super high speed cruiser storm wind approaching. Okay, well, I'm uh, I'm in an aircraft carrier. Is he right next to me? Because that looks like the island that I'm right next to. It's Whirlwind 2.0, huh? Oh, he's not right next to me. Okay, well, that's good, but still. Um, so carrier was a bad idea. 
Um, Gangaga said the, in the mission would be interesting. I think our definitions of interesting may vary. <laughs> uh, that was an unexpected uh, encounter. Boy, this is going to be terrible. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of strike aircraft because I forgot to refill my planes. What a typical thing of me to do of all people. What are these uh, planes? I don't have Hellcats or Wildcats at all, I don't think. What do I... Uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't even remember what uh, what those planes are. Well, assuming this uh, Warble Wind is not beefed up um, at all relative to the first one, this shouldn't be too bad, but it's much later in the game than the first one. So I'm assuming that, yes, this is going to be much harder. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy. Well, he's faster. Say that. And he hits kind of hard. He's a lot harder to. Oh boy, he's gonna be. We're doing 46.7 knots, and he's uh, that much faster than us. This does not bode well. Even the little bit that my planes hit him that time did a good chunk of damage. Oh boy. We might have to redo this mission, because I didn't uh, know this was going to happen. Also, I don't have most of my strike aircraft, which is a huge, huge problem right now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, heavy damage on the bow. I'm trying to turn. Oh, whoa, wow, okay. Lasers? Uh, didn't see that coming. Okay, so when he gets to half health, he pulls out the lasers. We're gonna bring the battleship, I think. Uh, ooh, did I ever get a free EM shield? Or, oh wait, no, I can buy one, though. I bet I can buy one. I'm gonna buy one and put it on the battleship. And then we'll bring the battleship into that mission. And see if that does better. So, okay. I appreciate that Gungaga did not... Uh, spoil it though, that's good. I, I appreciate that greatly. So, makes me actually have to, you know, work for it, which is which is a good thing. Damage from optical weapons. Minus 20% is not much, and I can't even afford it. Oh no. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Do I have anything to sell? Oh yeah, the old firing delays that I just got rid of. Or took off the ships. Yeah, here we go. Ah, just barely. Okay. 20% is not as much as I was hoping for, but every little bit counts. So, let's go outfit our battleship with that. He didn't even tell me, like, hey, you should probably bring X kind of ship. Nope. He just said, oh, that's an interesting mission. But, again, that's, that's I'm, uh, you know, appreciative that he didn't just outright spoil it. Or even insinuate that anything like that would happen. Uh, let's see. Go down here. Defensive EM Shield 1. Okay... Um, let's ditch these for now, since um, we have enough like high angles and everything to be fine in terms of AA. Uh, we want as many guns as we can fit on here, which uh, we know is pretty much that money uh, right there, because, um, yeah. Now, I wonder, though. Uh, man, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm going to see if I can work with this a little bit better and see if I can get some more guns on here. So give me one second, guys. Okay, so I managed to rearrange some things uh, just slightly so that we can actually get one more gun on here. We got this gun on here now. There is no way this aircraft launcher would work in real life, but you know, video games. Basically all I did was I moved this forwardmost turret up a little bit so I could take these boilers and put them between the turrets like this, because they used to be 
like right here where the turbines now are so uh, that's that's all I did for that so yeah another turret hooray we got a six turret broadside which is always nice <clears throat> now let's try this again. Do 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 briefing, and we can actually skip the, the real briefing because we just yep there we go. And we're gonna bring battleship and escort battleships, and let's try this again. Hey, no black screen. Cool. <laughs> All right. All hands to battle stations. Full speed I don't know if it really helps us at all, but let's go ahead and launch our scout planes. To attack. SC-1 Seahawks now. It's pretty cool, I think, unless I forgot to change them out. I know we got Seahawks, I don't know if I remembered to swap them out. I might not have, but, yeah, well. It's not a night mission right now anyway, so it doesn't matter. I do wish we were a teensy tiny bit faster, but... At least we finally got over that 30 knot hurdle that we were dealing with for the longest time. Speed ahead. Coming back up on the airfield again now. <coughs> Somehow the jet fighters have yet to attack me for now, which is interesting. Gotta be close, right? Yes. There, we got it. <laughs> okay, here comes the. Super high speed cruiser Sturmwind approaching. 
Marble Wind 2.0, as I like to call it. This is definitely different from the other games, I'll say that. Well, this one has lasers, uh, which is the biggest issue with uh, this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Just trying to think of whether what other tactics might be available to us if this doesn't work out. Which it might not. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Those lasers only go off if you're like at point blank range, because that seems to be the case too. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck on my own escorts again! Get out of the way, guys! This is why I leave them in vertical formation so often, because they're less likely to get stuck on me. They still do, as you just saw, but they're a lot less likely to, which is good. Hey, you want to come back so I can kill you? Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. Use your lasers on my escorts, not me. Please. Oh boy. Yep, he's, he's using his lasers on me now. Come on, flick to the target, thank you. Uh, those missed. I need to kill him now. Stop missing, seriously. I need to kill him now. Um, before... Please, yes, thank you. Oh my goodness, my shots kept missing because they weren't like leading correctly. I, I, I don't know if you guys saw my uh, my bow health there, but yeah, it's not good. <laughs> As you can see, that's why I was getting a little flustered. I was like, come on, like he's, he's almost dead. If I could just hit him, I wouldn't have to do this a third time. But um, safe to say I'm not gonna stick around. Uh, I don't wanna have to yeah, no. Uh, nope, I'm just not gonna take any risks. Someone might be able to throw a lawn dart Super at my... Sunk. I hate being right sometimes. The enemy is starting to take us seriously. We can expect more of these super ships coming our way. We must be ready. Yeah. Someone could have thrown, like, a dart at the bow of my ship and sunk me. So, we'll, uh, we'll just not allow that to happen think is the best strategy there. Yeah, B rank, 9% enemy sunk, totally fine, don't even care. 200,000 just for the mission, um, 313,000, man, that's crazy. We're a rear admiral now. Carrier 4, ooh, that's better than the one we have. Well, I don't know about better, but it's one, one tier higher, which is good. We'll look at that next time, though because we definitely do not have time to completely redesign a carrier this episode, I know that. It might be a slightly short episode, well no, we still get to some tech to look at, but um, here, because because I know that we get bat our first battle carrier at Metallurgy 18, well, we'll go one at a time so we see what we get, but new battleship forward type, the uh, classic tripod mast there, finally. Um, CA aft type 6, I think that's the one we're using, right? Cruiser 9? Cool, we got a new cruiser. A very, very, very modern looking cruiser. Uh, let's see, Carrier 4, oh well there's that, but at least we don't have to spend the money on one anymore. Battleship C, that's cool. Okay, and then because I'm pretty, pretty sure that we get our first battle carrier, yeah, and I spelled battle carrier wrong, but whatever. There's our very first battle carrier as well, Battleship D, cool. So since we just glossed over Battleship C, like, instantly, let's at least go look at it and see what exactly that entails relative to the other uh, Battleship B. Battleship B has uh, some 14-inch guns, 12 centimeter high angle, 20 millimeter machine guns, and 6,000 defense. This has 6,500 defense. And some slightly bigger guns. We're up to 15 inches now. Um... So that's good. Battleship D has even more defense and is sticking with the 15 inchers. So that's good. That's yeah, yeah, it's not bad. I'm gonna save our money though because we need to be able to 
Um, I'm actually going to sell Battleship A. We don't need those anymore because we have C, and we're about to have some of the other ones. But we need to save our money so that we can buy our... Oh, boy. We might not have enough money to design the Battle Carrier next time. Ooh. That could be an issue. Uh, let's look at uh, the price here because I bet it's going to be... Oh, 30000 Oh, yeah, we can do that. We can afford the hull and all the engine parts and bridges and everything that goes with it, so... Yeah, that won't be hard. Cool. All right, well, next time will probably be an episode all about designing because we have a new carrier, a new cruiser, and a new battle carrier to design. And we already know whose name is going on the battle carrier. That's Gongaga. So look forward to that next episode. And uh, in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Naval Ops Commander. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.